Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions. My name is David in today's unity tutorial We're gonna be looking at a physical camera that your player can hold and he can use night vision with as always my friends Everything you can find in this video scripts models sound effects will be linked in the description down below for a free download Also, if you guys can remember to drop me a like subscribe if you're new and click that notification bell It would help me out a ton and I would really appreciate it And I'd like to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers It means the world to me that I've grown this quickly and we are slowly making to our next goal of 200 subscribers, so I thank you all. With all that being said, you guys, I'm going to hop into Unity and show you the finished product, and then we're going to dive into the tutorial. Here we are, once again, inside of our little testing scene that we have been developing through the series. Now, if I go into the camera, which is going to be my number 6 button, you can notice the camera pops up, and now we can kind of see this green night vision type of filter on it. So now, back in the scene, it is completely dark, we can't see anything besides using our flashlight that we have. We've also gone through the tutorial making this little lighter. And now we have this camera which will help us see in the dark a little bit. Not too much. As you can see on this screen, you can barely even tell there's a candle right in front of me. Uh, if you guys can even see with that small screen, the green screen shows that there's a little candle right there. Uh, we can see there's doors here. There's some platforms over there. And also, if I right click on the mouse and I hold it, we can actually zoom in with the camera so we can look around a little bit better. All right, now it's time to dive into the tutorial. Inside Blender, I made this very simple little camera asset. If you guys want to go ahead and model your own or just reuse mine, it'll be in the description for a free download. If you are making your own model, the screen that you're going to be displaying the display on, make sure it has no texture on it, but it is unwrapped. Now, inside of Unity, bring that camera inside of our view, and we're going to scale it down and place it right in front of our camera. So let me scale it down and place it there real quick. I'm going to place it right about there, and then I'm going to attach it inside of our inventory that is attached to our player. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to right-click on the camera, and we want to make sure we unpack prefab completely. We're going to be making a new layer, so we're going to go over here to the top, and instead of default, we're going to add a new layer, and we're going to call it camera. Now what's going to get the camera is the cube, which is the actual camera itself. If I check that off, you can see that's the physical camera. We're going to put that layer as camera, as well as the text that just says mortar. We're going to change that to camera as well. So with that camera object, we want to right click and add a new camera. This is going to be the physical view of the camera, what it's going to be seeing in front of us. And right now it's looking backwards, so we're just going to rotate it so it's looking towards the camera like that. I'm going to be placing it right behind the camera just like this and now the reason we create those layers is because inside that physical camera that is looking at our view we go over here in its camera tab and we want culling mask and we can uncheck camera so now it only sees what's in front of us and you know what we can actually go ahead and go into screen and then change that to the camera layer as well so that way we don't see anything but the camera will still be casting this way all right back inside the camera object we're going to rename this camera inside of it to view camera so that way we don't get any confusion between the camera object, which I'm going to rename the camera object, and the camera view. Okay. So with our camera view, I'm going to change the FOV to 55. Clipping planes is going to be 0.01. And then the audio listener, we just right click and we remove component. Inside of our assets down here, we need to right click, create a new render texture, which is right here. We're going to call this camera. The size, I'm going to change to my default size of my monitor, which is 1920 by 1080. Back to the view camera, we want this target texture to be that render texture we just created. So let's click and drag that in. And now you'll see your camera goes back to normal where your player is. We're halfway there, you guys. All we need to do is go to the camera object, go to its screen. And then instead of having an actual texture to it, we're going to click and drag that render texture right in like this. And now you're going to be able to see our scene in front of us. If it's sideways or upside down or anything like that, just take the view camera and rotate it accordingly, like I'm doing right here. And that looks about right. Also, if you've been following the series, I have this UI elements above us. And as you can see inside of our view camera, you can actually see it. So we need to go into culling mask again and uncheck UI. So that way we don't see that in there. And now if we play the game, we have this camera object that displays whatever's in front of it very nicely like that. As you'll notice, it kind of just looks like a 2D image of a camera placed in front of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that sway script that we used from the previous tutorials. I'm going to click and drag that into camera object like this and change its values to 0.08. Max amount is going to be 0.75 and smooth amount will be 6. Now if we play the game, 
it gives it a little more character so it kind of looks around with us and you could change these values so it moves around as much as you need it to okay so now we need to actually get this thing glowing green so let's go back to the screen objects itself and then in here the shader tab at the top here we need to go inside go down to legacy shaders self illuminate and then we just want diffuse you're going to see it glows and that's exactly what we want because when we put the green filter on there it's going to start looking very dark this self illumination diffuse will keep it glowing so that way we can actually see in the dark all right next thing we need to do is we need to go window package manager up here at the top is a little search we're just going to search for post and then post processing will come up just install it straight to your project and then we can go on from there once that's done go into the camera object right click and add a empty object we're just going to call this post effects inside there we're going to type post in the add component and we are going to want volume inside here we're going to check is global and then we go to view camera and then we want to add component we want a layer a post processing layer just like that once it's in there we need to tell it which layer we want it to affect so if we go back to post effects and go layer we can create a new one called night vision we're going to assign night vision to that object and then in view camera right down here in volume blending we want layer to be night vision going back to the post effect empty object inside the volume tab you can see profile we just want to click new it's going to auto create it inside of our assets right here and then with that post effects we can actually start adding effects like this the effects i'm going to be using i'm going to be first using color grading inside tone i'm going to check it on and then turn it to a bright green you can see it's already starting to come together down here next effect i'm going to be adding is lens distortion we can actually turn these first three on i'm going to change the intensity to about negative 10 then we'll add another effect this one's going to be grain we'll turn intensity and size on and this is going to be completely up to you guys how much intensity or size you want Personally, I'm going to go with about 0.5 for intensity. In size, I'll go with 1.5. That way it gives a little grainy look to it like a camera would. Now the next effect we're gonna be adding is a vignette. We're gonna turn the mode on, we're gonna turn color on, intensity, and then we can play around with these settings to kind of achieve what we want to achieve. You can see what it does is it creates this little outline around the corners of the camera. I want it kind of looking like this, so I'm gonna go with 0.5 for intensity. And then if you wanted to change the color, you can change that to whatever you want. Just keep in mind that since we're using green, some colors will not blend correctly. As you can see, the red kind of turns to this brown. But I'm just going to change it to a dark type gray, something like this, really close to black. Now, another thing we can do inside that camera, the view camera, that is, we can go add component and then we want color correction curves right here. If you want this asset, you have to go to the Unity Asset Store, type in color correction curve, and then we're just going to use this free one right here. We'll import that into our scene, and then once you have it attached to your object, we're going to be looking at red. We just want this to be straight line like this. Blue, straight line again. And then for green, we also want that straight line, and now it's going to create this sort of effect on the camera. In that view camera, we can also add the camera zoom script. Again, you guys, this can all be found in the description down below. Camera view is going to be the camera view, which we're going to click and drag inside there. Initial view, which mine was 55, and then zoom FOV, I'm going to go with 25. And now, if we play the game, everything should be working perfectly. We have that green effect, and if I were to turn off the environmental lighting, you'd be able to see it a little better, how it works. But, this is going to be good enough for the tutorial. If I hold down the right mouse button, it zooms in, and then you can change your values on the FOV to get even closer or further away. But this works for me. And that's about it on how to make a night vision type camera. If you guys just wanted a normal camera, you don't need to add these post-processing effects. You just need that render texture on the screen. And that's going to be about it for this tutorial, guys. Like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed, found it helpful, or entertaining in any sort of way, please remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell. And I'll catch you all in the next one. This is User1 Productions signing off for now. Peace.